these are some of the most incredible performances that we've seen from Christina Applegate and Linda Cardellini and the two of them, their dynamic, their chemistry is just off the charts. <laughs> It's Kristen and today we are talking about season one of Netflix's new show Dead to Me. Starring Christina Applegate and Linda Cardellini, we follow Jen who has recently become a widow after her husband died in a hit and run and she is determined to solve the crime of who killed her husband. She meets the free spirited Judy who recently suffered a tragic loss of her own at a support group and the two become unlikely friends. The dark comedy explores the funny and weird sides of grief, loss and forgiveness and there are a lot of surprising twists and turns and secrets that you really don't expect as you're watching this show. Give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you like my videos and drop down in the comments so we can talk about Dead to Me together. This show is really incredible so I can't wait to hear what you guys think. I gotta say what I really love about this show and that I think really stands out is the chemistry between our two leading ladies. Jen and Judy, the next like Thelma and Louise, Lucy and Ethel, the two of them just really Really work so well together. Their bond and their friendship is really the the sole crux of this show. They're really supporting each other and relying on each other. They really become like this little family and I thought that was really beautiful to see. And I think individually our two lead actresses were really killing it. Christina Applegate is such a natural comedian, like she's so funny and this show you really get to see them kind of dabble with you know the dark comedy aspects of this show but also like some of the more you know, deeper emotional moments. And Linda Cardellini was one of my favorite characters to watch on screen because you could just see all of the emotions and the frustrations and the kind of like war that she's going through internally just coming across on screen, on her face, in all of her reactions. And I thought she actually was a bit of a more interesting role, at least for me in terms of watching, because she's this optimistic, free-spirited person. She's a good person, but at the same time she has this dark secret that is kind of of tearing her apart. To see her kind of playing with all of those uh, levels, I thought she just really, really did an incredible job. Like you really feel for her. You want to hate her, but you you just can't because you can see that she is really a good person and um, I just thought she really brought it. In general, I just think the cast in the show was great. Abe was another highlight for me. I also think the messages of the show were really deep. You know, they get into loss and grief. People making mistakes and kind of can you come back from that? You know, we're mainly focusing on Jen and Judy, but we are seeing how all of this affects Jen's children as well. She thinks that they're fine, but they have more going on than it seems. They also tackle, you know, secrets and toxic relationships, even health issues like getting a mastectomy or having miscarriages. And um, I thought it was really interesting because that mastectomy storyline that they gave Jen is actually. Christine Applegate's real story and the miscarriage storyline that they gave Judy, that's something that the actual creator of the show has dealt with and she was struggling with that and she kind of put all of that into the show as kind of like a cathartic thing. And I just think that you can tell that there's so much heart and love put into this show and into the female friendships and just dealing with the traumas and issues that people struggle with in life. The show also has these twists and turns that you're not expecting. I will admit, at the end of the first episode, they reveal something really huge, and I was kind of like, oh, well now we know this huge secret, what's the point of watching this? And I would say to anyone who might feel like that, just keep going because there are so many more secrets and things to be revealed. And even that first secret that's revealed, they are kind of continuing this story in a way that it's like, okay, well, when will all of these other people find out about this? You know, there's still that mystery and that thriller going on. And then I think that the way that this season ends, um, first of all, it really blew me away. I was not expecting that at all. But it kind of ends in a way that's like, okay, the score is settled. So I'm really curious to see what would happen in a season two because I do think that the show is a roller coaster for Jen and Judy where, you know, like, they um, have just dealt with so much and towards the end of the season it looks like their friendship is over but then something happens that's like, oh, nope, 
maybe they can still be friends. And I really loved their friendship, so I'm hoping that um, season two we'll get to see them kind of come together. I think they have this really complicated dynamic relationship where now they're kind of in this place where they need each other. When it comes down to it, I really enjoy Dead to Me. I think that this show has so many layers. I think it is funny, it's dark, it's twisted, it's a little bit campy at times. And I think these are some of the most incredible performances that we've seen from Christina Applegate and Linda Cardellini. And the two of them, their dynamic, their chemistry is just off the charts. I think when you first come into it, it's like, oh, these two women are going to bond together over their mutual trauma. And they do, but at the same time, they also end up going on this kind of thriller mystery that will keep you guessing at every turn. I think Dead to Me is definitely a really unique show. They do a great job of setting up the script in a way where they kind of flash back to things and they go back in different ways and, and set up things that you're just not expecting. Um, and it'll definitely keep you on the edge of your seat. If you like this video, you can check out more of my reviews over here. I also have tons of Netflix reviews, so make sure to go check those out. And drop down in the comments to continue the conversation. I really can't wait to hear what you guys think about Dead to Me, because this show I thought was just excellent, excellent, excellent. Alright, see ya!